Hi everyone, Cheryl here with a video for the Scrapping Cottage using this darling little Romper Bear um, cottage cut die like shown here. And so for my um, bear, I did an alcohol ink technique on her. And I don't know if you'll be able to see, but she has a little bit of a pearl, um, like pearl mixative type glimmer to her. I don't know what you would call it, but I don't know if you could see it. I'm trying to get it in there, but I can't. It's kind of hard with that. But here's another one I did as well. And so I'm just going to go ahead and show you the technique um, that I did. And so the first thing you'll want to do is have your pieces cut out. And I've cut quite a few of them, so I'm just going to grab those pieces. So we'll need two of the little feet and two of the arms and the little hair. And I'm not going to show you the clothes. I'm just going to put this together and show you um, because I don't know what I did with the clothes. Sorry, you guys. I'm not um, as prepared as I thought I was. Um, some pearls for the eyes. And then I used the tweezers. And I'm also using Helmar's gemstone glue to put the pearls on because I like to make sure they stay. Um, I'm going to be using the Latte Tim Holtz um, alcohol ink. I'm also going to be using um, the alcohol blender solution, the a dabbing tool, um, what was the other thing, and of course um, a Copic marker, actually a few of them. And I think that's it, so I guess let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to move all that. So I use this mat. This mat that you see here is... Um, a stay put craft mat from ScorePal and I love using this really reasonable ribbon carries these <clears throat> excuse me so uh, one of the reasons why I like it is because I could just put my ink down on the mat and even if it gets all over all I do is take some spray and a towel and wipe it right up and then now I'm using the blending solution um, for that. Oh, and the other thing I'm going to be using is the pearl mixative. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to grab some of that in the corner and hopefully you can see this. And then I'm using one color on this. Now you can do a multi-color. Um, it just depends like you can do darker and use a different so there's two the arm oops and if you need to you could put down more the hair I want darker so the hair I'm actually gonna color with the Copic and you know what I think I used the no oh here's a nose and same with the nose so I'll do those separate but there's now if you wanted to add another color in which I can show you so if we left it like that you could see it would be light and I'm gonna need a little bit more ah. Um, I'll do this one with another color so you can kind of see. Normally if I do a multi-color with this bear, because I don't know if you could see that, that's the color it would be. So this is would be a light bear. But if I'm going to do a darker color, what I'll normally do is just on, on this tool is add the three colors or two. So you could just take and put a dot. Okay, and that one is a caramel. And now I'm going to use the ginger. Now this is going to be a darker bear. And 
and now what you'll want to do is add enough of the solution I don't know if you could see it mixed in and then let's start with the body and then you just randomly add the color whoops sorry you guys if, if it's not blending enough just add more and that will help to blend sometimes they, the pieces will stick okay so there's there's what I have he's gonna be like a multi-color <laughs> I had done another body but I'm not quite sure where I put it so now I want to clean this up before I start to put this together and so what I'm gonna do is actually I'll need that Brittany after sorry I'm doing a video sorry you guys my daughter has the spray um, sorry, guys. <laughs> she's mocking me um, I want to get that cleaned up and then the next thing shh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I guess I'll go ahead and use the pearl mixative I don't know if you could see that thank you okay have fun so I just spray some spray and then just wipe all this off okay so now it's nice and clean so I'm just gonna put some of that down and I think my camera moved sorry and a little bit more of the blending I want to give a pearl look and I'm just taking it in the corner and so I'm just gonna put that of course the ink's gonna blend in since I'm pulling that up too but once it dries it gives such a nice look actually I'm going around the edges go around with the darker I could see that darker color so I kind of wanted to give a darker look and I'll pull the color and do the same for the arm and uh oh I think I have two of the same what did I do there oh I can kind of see some of the pearl I don't know see it's really hard to get it in the video for you to see but I could see it in person but my arms I have one that's was backwards okay and there's the feet I have a mess again but if you want more of the pearl I have a gold pearl that I could have used but I like the look it gives so I just like to add that okay these pieces are done so I'm gonna spray this I'm just using this um, it's professor Amos shock it clean I think I got it from HSN or QVC one of those I bought some years ago and then I really liked it and um, it does clean super nice so it especially the Copic markers so now my bears here and for the hair and the nose I'm gonna do those darker I just want to move this stuff so I'm gonna use the Copic and this is a walnut probably could have used my tweezers like I said I'm obviously not prepared well enough And the hair, 
I'm going to do in light walnut. Doesn't have to be as dark. So this little cute little bear, it does have a little romper outfit, but I didn't cut that out. So I'm just going to put her together just just like a little teddy bear would be. And so for that, I'm going to use um, Helmar's premium craft glue. Sorry, I'm moving my camera. So I'm going to use this to put it together and just going to put a little bit. I love teddy bears. They're so cute. So there's the head. And of course the arms, oh, see the romper, usually your arms, I think the romper will, might have to go on, um, or I could probably cover the arm, well, yeah, I'll probably have to add it later when I go to use this one, because it will cover, unless I put it behind the, I can move that. Yeah, see, I'll probably have to use the romper. Okay. And the little feet. And that one. I love the look of this. The little romper is going to have to go under the arms, so I'll probably leave those up a tad bit. So when I go to add it, um, I can slip it under there. But the nose I can put on. Now for the face to highlight, you just take a, a marker of another color and the ears I'm just doing with there are little ear pieces that can go on but um, I didn't use those sometimes I don't use all the pieces and now for my eyes oh I should do my cheeks first so let's do the little cheeks the little pink could always add some dots just give some color so for the eyes I'm using the smallest whoa well I was of the beads And it's, of course, my um, tool isn't clean, so everything wants to stick to that. Yeah, I see the eye. How funny. The glue will dry clear, so I'm not too worried about that. And then because they're so small, there we go. And then I want to add the nose. And the nose is small. So I just rubbed it on the top of the glue bottle. Whoops. Of course, I just moved the eye. And they probably could go up a tad. Yeah. And the cute little hair. We'll go right there. How cute. I love this little bear. And then I'm going to add a little bit of pink on this one's ears. Just adding the hair right there. Yeah. 
you will just see the pink a little bit. There we go. And there's my little bear. Whoops, hopefully you could see that. But I love the look that the alcohol inks give these bears. Maybe that's a little better. And of course, don't mind my glue. And then let me show you my other one. This one had um, a couple colors, if you could see. But she has a gingham print outfit on. It's pink. Oh, it's it's got to be my lighting. There we go. So there's her. And I didn't add any of the dots. I can add those later. And then the one on my card that's featured today is this one. And I hope you enjoyed my video on the romper bear, the cottage cuts romper bears. And thanks for stopping by. And we'll see you next time. Have a nice day.